throughout the summer of 2020. And we said that's not going to happen here in the state of Florida. And we wanted to make sure that we were able to protect uh, the people of our great state, uh, people's businesses and property um, against any type of, of mob activity or violent assemblies. And so we had a bold vision. Uh, we worked with uh, President Wilton Simpson and Speaker Chris Sprouse uh, to get it done. Uh, they were able to successfully do it. And so we're here today uh, being prepared how to sign that bill into law. I think it's really remarkable if you look at the breadth of this particular piece of legislation. It is the strongest anti-rioting pro-law enforcement piece of legislation in the country. And there's just nothing even close. Uh, the bill does a number of things. One, it tackles head on this idea that we've seen last summer and then we still see today uh, that there should be a movement to defund law enforcement. Now, obviously, the state of Florida, we're not going to do that under, under my leadership, but if a local government were to do that, uh, that would be catastrophic and have terrible consequences uh, for their citizens. And so this bill actually prevents against local governments defunding law enforcement. We'll be able to stop it at the state level. And if you look at some of these places that have done this, they've already seen crime go up, even just diverting some of the funding uh, to this. And so it's an insane theory. Uh, it's not going to be allowed to ever carry the day in the state of Florida. And this tool, this bill gives us the tools to make sure that that doesn't happen. You might as well say goodbye to freedom of assembly in the state of Florida. Because thanks to the governor, Ron DeSantis, he passes one of the most extremist laws in that state, which means that it prevents people. Now, get this. He said he's preventing people from and protecting police officers, right? So basically, it preventing people from destroying businesses. In, in, this, in the entire state. And what he failed to realize is that, you know, when you took, when you make this strictest law like this, that means that any law enforcement officers, even during a protest, has a right to basically run people over or shoot a protester if it gets in their way. And yet, you want to sign a bill like this? I'm telling you, y'all, this is going to get crazy in the state of Florida. So this article is from NBC6 in South Florida. It says, Governor Ron DeSantis signs Florida anti-riot bill into law. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a new bill into law Monday that aims to crack down on violent protests in the state. DeSantis signed the so-called anti-riot bill during a news conference in Polk County. It is the strongest anti-riot pro-law enforcement piece of legislation in the country, DeSantis said. Under the law, penalties will be enhanced for crimes committing during a riot or a violent protest. It allows authorities to hold arrest protesters until a first quarter parents. It established new felonies for organizing or participating in a violent demonstration. I'm going to stop you right there. So in other words, y'all. If you're involved or participating in any protest or any assembly whatsoever, then they, then the law enforcement or any police or any sheriff's deputies have the right to either run a protester over if they block a road or literally they will shoot a protester if they, if, if they get in their way, they can get away with it. This is how I run the sentence. And this is why I said, um, y'all, that Kentucky could be next passing these laws in over that state. Because I did a video, I'm going to continue reading this article in a second. But I posted a video on Instagram showing one of the protesters arrested and beaten, punches multiple times at a protester. But you know, because he's holding a cross and he was in the middle of the street. But yet, it, 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 to me, in, in, it, according to the state of Florida, it's legal to do that. Which means people's rights, when, people's rights don't have to be, I mean, their rights will be violated, basically. And they don't have no rights whatsoever. And you make it even worse, even if a person was arrested, y'all, 
even if a person was arrested, they can't get a lawyer until the trial. And you notice when a person gets arrested during the protest, automatically you can call an attorney to bail them out right away. In the state of Florida, it's not like that anymore. They have to wait until the trial or the court appearance to get a lawyer, which is ridiculous. So let's continue reading this article. It said, it's also strip local governments of civil liability protections if they interfere with law enforcement efforts to respond to a violent protest and added language to the state law that could force local governments to justify a reduction in law enforcement budgets. The sentence on Monday calls efforts to defund police an insane theory. But okay, I'm gonna stop right there again. So okay, so you mean killing an unarmed black man or a black woman or a black child in this country is allowed in the state of Florida, right? So in other words, they can justify saying, oh, he got a gun or he got a knife or he got any weapon whatsoever and they can shoot him and he was unarmed and they can get away with it. So, well, it's legal in Florida. You know, cops can get away with it. In other words, they're protecting police officers and law enforcement officers doing idiot stuff like this. And what's, this is what makes it even worse. I'm going to read this now. What's worse is, is, according to this, it says the law will also make it a second degree felony to destroy or demolish a memorial plaque flag painting structure or any object that commemorates historical people or events that will be punishing, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Now, here's a question I would like to ask the governor Ron DeSantis. And I'm going to ask you this question because it shows you how ridiculous this law is. What if, if it's a law enforcement officer pretending to be a protester doing this? And this protest ain't got nothing to do with smashing, rioting, mess, looting, messing up buildings. What if it's a, a, a cop or any other white supremacist doing all of this? But hey, they don't care. As long as they're cracking down these protesters, that's all they worry about. As long as they're protecting these businesses ac across any cities like Miami, Fort Lauderdale, um, Jacksonville, um, Daytona Beach, Tampa. It doesn't matter. As long as they, they, these businesses are protected, th that's all they care about. And then this is going to be more crazy and ridiculous because what if, a, a God forbid, another person got shot and killed by the hands of the police unjustly and and people have the right to protest but you want to crack that down because you worry about a riot breaking out okay yeah all right lord jesus it says desantis began campaigning for the measure last year following a summer of turmoil across the country the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, said the new law will give police broad discretion over what constitutes a, a demonstration and a riot. Exactly. So it seems to me that it's all about power. They want to shut down protesters because they because they didn't like how they, how they really didn't like how they how the message is. I mean, you've seen a lot of unarmed black men being murdered by police in Florida before. And then all of a sudden now we, they can't protest the right to speak out about that. Well, say goodbye to the freedom of assembly in the state of Florida. Because that's exactly what it is, y'all. This is why I said that, you know, and I, I, like I said, Joe Biden need to get involved in this. Because to me, it's, if it happens in the state of Florida, it could happen to other Red states like, you know, um, Kentucky or um, Alabama, Mississippi, they're going to crack down all of the, in, in even the state of Georgia if they wanted to. They're going to crack down all these protests across this country because basically um, there's been police involved shootings all across the country of killing unarmed black men and women and children. And now all of a sudden, we got a re Republican governor, Ron DeSantis. They can really shut down protests. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to shut down these protests. So if, if, if something happens, if someone gets, gets killed, oh, well, let's move on. We, I mean, we ain't worried about it because the police officers will be protected. The buildings will be protected. And you forgot that we have a right to have an assembly. But in the state of Florida, however, they, won't, they, will, not, they will not allow that to happen. Which is, which is absurd. But let's continue this article. 
It says the bill was purposely designed to embolden the um, desperate police treatment we have seen over and over again directed towards black and brown people who are exercised their constitutional rights to protest, said Micah Kubik, the executive director of ACLU of Florida. Opponents of the bill said it was racist and saw it as an attempt to squash the voices of groups like Black Lives Matter. Not only is this racist at its core, but it's also a reaction to what occurred over the summer after the death of George Floyd, said Democratic Senator Shervin Jones. And um, it says that the signing of the H-1 bill being signed today is a deliberate scare tactic, considering that closing arguments in the Derek Chauvin trial start today. Um, this will never about protecting peaceful protesters. It's always about silencing a group of protesters, black and brown voices. Um, and that's, you know, Shervin, Sher, I mean, um, you know, Democratic Senator Sheridan Sherman Jones's tweet. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of um, the 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 NBC South Florida um, article. Y'all, it's my this is my concern about this. I think the state of Kentucky is going to going to follow suit. Uh, the state of Georgia, uh, if you live in the southern states alone. They're going to crack down on protesters, plain and simple. They, which means people don't, can't have a right to say what they want to say. And guess what? Legally, if the, if the police caught one of the protesters, let's say hypothetically they could caught one of the protesters on the street with banners and signs, don't you know that, that the, whether you're a citizen or whether you're a police officer, you know they have a right to ran them over? I mean, literally hit a protester. This is how street... The, um, this is how strict this law really is in the state of Florida. And so, y'all, that means people can't even speak out because there's been reports that, you know, I think about a, um, a I don't know if it's, I, I reported a story about a couple of months ago uh, about three black men, teenage black men was killed in the state of Florida because they claiming that they, 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 the car ran, ran one of the officers over. It turns out what, it didn't even happen. He tried to, you try to rent from them, but end up, you know, um, they what one got shot killed them, right? Two, I think two people got. I mean, there's three people got shot. Two of them was dead. But yet now, thanks to the governor, the the nice governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, he wants to say, okay, we're gonna crack that down right now. We're gonna crack down all the protests. We're gonna crack down all the right. We're gonna protect all the police officers all the law enforcement officers and protect these buildings that's been vandalized and been looted and been whatever. But then you have to understand too, what if the protest didn't got nothing to do with this? You got all these uh, people that, that like, like law enforcement officers to pretend to be protesters. You got people that's not even from the state of Florida or, or, or to come down here and raid, raids have it. It happens before. But you see y'all, this is why I said, that if Joe Biden wants to do what's right, this is the time for him to to override that law. I don't care. I mean, you. I mean, this is this is a federal thing because if it happens in Florida, it's going to happen in Kentucky, Arkansas, Texas. All these these states are next. So don't think this Florida isn't the, isn't the only state that's going to do this. Kentucky's going to be next, then Texas, then Arkansas, then Mississippi, Alabama, all the southern states. All the red states is going to crack down on this. So y'all let me know what you think about this. I mean, this is shows you right now. They try to shut down our voices. They try to shut down our right to assemble. And if, 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 the, feds, if the feds don't get involved with this now, then half of this country are going to pass the same strictest laws, just like what they do in the Florida right now, preventing protesters from even speak out or even go to the streets. Demanding justice for people that was gunned down unjustly. So y'all let me know what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces. Mm -hmm.